You're insecure. Don't know what for. You turn heads when you walk through the door. Don't let me go to cover up. Being the way that you are is enough. Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin, and this is my submission for It Cosmetics, Your Most Beautiful You. I think no matter what, whatever look you're rocking, as long as you're happy, that's your most beautiful you. Whenever you're being honest with yourself, whatever makes you happy, then that makes you beautiful. This is my simple day-to-day -day makeup look that makes me feel the most beautiful. So, so the first thing I'm going to use is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer to prime my face. Then I'm going in with Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance for my eyes to prime my eyelids. Next, I'm going to take a MAC 252 SE brush and use the light side of this Pixie Duo all over my lid. Next, I'll take this Milani eyeshadow in Bella Cappuccino on a MAC 275 SE and blend it all into my crease as a transition shade. On the same brush, I'll take this dark brownie purple to the outer crease and really blend it. I find purple tints really make brown eyes pop. Next, I'm going in with the new Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Vanilla, and I'm obsessed. I use about two pumps, and it has great coverage and lasts all day in the Florida heat and even the humidity. Using a Real Techniques stippling brush, I dab the foundation onto my skin, and then in little circular motions, I blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm taking the NYX HD Concealer in CW07 to slightly contour, but mostly define my face to make it look a little more natural. Then I take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard in a triangle shape under my eyes to conceal my bags. I will then put a little on my forehead to even out my face. After I'm finished with that, I will take my stippling brush to blend it all in. I always blend under my eyes last to give the concealer a little more time to sink into my skin. To set my face, I use Ben Nye's Banana Powder. I find this keeps my makeup in place all day and keeps my face looking smooth. I'm using a big fluffy kabuki brush just to press it into my skin. Next, I'm taking a Pixi Bronzer in the shade Summertime on a MAC 109 brush to add a little contour. After that, I'm taking my tried and true MAC Warm Soul blush on an Urban Decay Optical Blurring brush. I think this blush color looks great on any skin tone and it adds the perfect glow for the summertime. I'm then taking my Kabuki brush and brushing away any of that Ben Nye powder that's left. I then line my waterline with the NYX Gel Pencil Liner in the shade Pitch Black. To line and fill in my brows, I'm using MAC Velux Brow Liner in Deep Brunette. After I'm done with that, I take a MAC 219 SE brush and that purplish brown color from earlier and smoke out the liner on my waterline. I then highlight my brow bone and inner corner with MAC Soft and Gentle using a MAC 249 brush. Highlighting in these places on the eye really ties the look all together. I'll take that same shade and put it on the high points of my cheeks and also a little bit on my cupid's bow. I use Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara in black to coat my bottom eyelashes. I then go in with my all-time favorite mascara. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara in black, and it does wonders. I line and fill in my lips with this Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. This lip liner is so smooth and creamy, it's unbelievable. To give my lips more of an everyday look, I go over my lip liner with MAC Viva Glam 5 lipstick. And that completes my makeup look.